Hi, I'm John. I'm Jesse. I'm Harry Greasley. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm Becky and I went to India in this February and I also went last February as well. My dad went to a, India a couple of years ago and when he heard about it he said I had to I had to take the opportunity. He said it was a really good idea. Going to the first meeting and seeing what an eye opener it is. It's it's just a really interesting country. It was something different that I've not tried before and to go to be able to go to a country that I wouldn't normally go to is uh, quite an experience. It looked like everyone had a lot of fun last time so I thought it was a good idea. Mainly for the reasons of the charity Fremdam, you know, looking at paying for children in the slums to get an education. Uh, going halfway around the world, meeting people, meeting people from college and Indian, Indian people, working with the kids as well, and also the food. But when you first stepped off the plane, you know, the, it was the heat, you could tell, and the smell, it was completely different. It smelled a bit like um, cardamom seeds, but it was, it was quite good. It seemed so empty when you first got off the plane, but then you got outside and it was so busy and loud. The people looking at you when we uh, got off the plane, just to see that many people looking at you makes you feel like you're famous or something. Yeah. It, it was pretty hot. It wasn't as hot as I thought it was going to be, but it was a lot brighter. It was quite shocking when, well, not stepping off the plane, but when we first started landing, seeing slums, and you, you, you understand that slums are going to be there, but you don't realise the extent of them. When we were pull, just pulling in on the plane, there was like slums down the side of a uh, flight path and stuff. Well, when you get there, it's a completely different experience than what you think. Your mum's not doing your washing. <laughs> that, that was quite, that was the biggest shock. The people, people have different customs. Like They're quite direct, they're quite forward. There is the slums and there is obviously the difference in poverty but there's also the way that people, they talk to you, they want to be friends with you in a way, they just, they're just really friendly. It's just louder in Mumbai and everyone's more friendly. There's traffic everywhere, there's people surrounding the streets and stuff but it's, it's nice, it's a good country. Everyone's pipping every 10 seconds so you can't hear anything but horns going off here there and everywhere. So being on the road, you could never have a nap on the coach. I haven't got as much as us yet. They're so much happier than us. We're praying down our charity, which supports children in the slums being able to get an education, which is incredible because it's hard in that country for young children, especially children in the slums, to get any education at all. Prem Dan are quite amazing really. They do a lot of work with children who wouldn't usually be able to fund education. They give all the poor kids a better quality of life. They have a hot meal every day, funded by the college. Help the children who live in the slums to get a better life, give them education and a chance to actually get somewhere with their lives. You see a lot of children who wouldn't usually get the chance actually get a chance to learn and do something with their lives, so it's quite nice. They take the children from the slums and give them a future that most of them can't have. Well, it was quite nice for me to see some of the children that I'd met the year before and for them to remember me was a nice feeling and to see how happy they still were. You've got your favourite ones. I mean, you can love them all, but the favourite ones will just smile so much when they see you again. Well, obviously the children, which was incredible. Every day they'd see you and they'd jump up and smile and run to you yeah, and give you a hug and it's just an eye-opener how much like you mean to them and then you'll, they'll do everything for you. If you've got paint on your hands, they'll clean them, they'll insist. The people who run the charity, like Sister Felicity, who's still going strong and still looking after the charity. You could tell they, wanted, they put a lot of effort in what they do and they enjoy what they do, which is quite nice to see. Even the sisters, they'll come up to you and they want to like help and they want, if you're making bracelets, they want to see how to make them. We met some Indian Indian guys selling stuff on the, on the streets, we made friends with a few of them. Also we saw, met lots of people on the streets like who we had to haggle with to buy gifts and stuff which was always a bit of fun. Just people on the streets, people that you get to barter with and you talk to and learn about the culture, it's incredible. Then from college as well you make so many new friends. We, we met some really funny people, the ones that tried to poke stuff in your ear off the street and charge you for it. They did, They because they tried to clean your ears. 
My favourite place we visited was um, Elephanta Island. I really enjoyed it because there were loads of monkeys everywhere. So we were just like, ah, monkeys. Um, when we went on the tour of Mumbai, it was nice to see all the different temples and to see how their religions are different to ours. The landmark gateway of India, it was incredible. Loads of carved statues in the rock, and that was quite interesting. We went on a tour around Mumbai, and you just got detailed descriptions of everywhere. It was, it was all a completely different culture that you got to see. It was really good. It has to be the children. It has to be looking after them and just seeing that even though you know the conditions that they live in, they, they're still smiling and they're still happy and they're still playing. It, it's really touching. Just every day going to the garden school, it was amazing. Yeah. And the most memorable thing for me was visiting the girls' hostel. Meeting the kids from the primary school, they really like you. You get quite attached. Seeing the uh, skyline of Mumbai was quite nice because you got to see all the massive buildings, see everything that's there, like the gateway to, of India and stuff. You could tell it means everything, you know, this visit happens once a year and you could tell it's something to look forward to from the day after it ends to the day it begins. The money that Aquinas provides them, that's, that's a massive deal, I think, because it's the hot meals and, and things like that. It means that they get, they get a meal, they get, um, they get help and obviously they get the education. Well, we give them a hot meal every day, so just giving them a chance to live and have something and be something in the future. And also having people walk in and, and do stuff with the kids, it's, it's good for them, they, they really enjoy it. They're really excited when we turned up, they're all clapping and crying, some of them. We, we obviously, through Aquinas, we sponsor a lot of people and I think that definitely helps towards um, a lot of the children in Mumbai getting the education which they obviously need. It will really make a difference to their lives, like for us to give them the opportunity to have a bit of an education and have a good life is something that we take for granted and they won't. You get to know about how people live, so working with people in the slums, they've got like a really poor quality of life compared to what we have, so it, it's kind of an eye-opener. Jobs we get are just completely different to what they have, because they're probably on a couple of pounds a week and we're, we wouldn't even think of that, we're probably on that, we're on that an hour at least. I learn that I take a lot of things for granted and that the things that I take for granted they obviously didn't. I learned not to take anything for granted, you know, understand what you've got. I, I learned not to take things for granted and to acknowledge what we actually get in England because we do get a lot of things that they wouldn't even dream of having. It's just an eye-opener, really, and realise how much you've got. Before you went, you never really thought about it that much. And then when you see what they have, you really do take things for granted, and it really is touching. It's just amazing how different they live. We've got so much compared to them, and they're so much more appreciative, and you've just got to learn to appreciate what you've got. It's quite enlightening. To put a smile on someone's face, it's such a nice feeling. I think you definitely should. A few of the people said that they were having doubts about going and they turned up and everyone loved it. Um, I'd tell them to definitely go for it because it's an experience you don't want to miss. You've just got to go because there's no words to say how amazing it is. You've just got to experience it yourself but you've got to go. Everyone made so many new friends. All the people that went, they all had good intentions. Everyone got on really well, had a laugh. You can watch at home in your nice warm house with your fire and stuff, log burning, but it's not quite the same as actually being in the middle of it and seeing what it's actually like and how they're actually living. I'd say that they should definitely go. I've been twice now and if I could I'd go back every year. Just do it. It's the best thing I've ever done and I'm never ever going to regret doing it. Awesome. Amazing. Outstanding. Extraordinary. Brilliant.